Welcome to the VHF UHF channel and this is another video uh, with um, an amateur radio frequency band. Now the last um, channel that we have available on what is still called VHF because technically UHF starts at 300 megahertz uh, is the 1.25 meter band this is not very popular of a band. In the United States it goes from 222 to 225 megahertz because it's been kind of amputated 2 megahertz for a commercial band. But in Canada it's still 220 to 225 and um, other countries, some countries still have 220 to 225 a lot of countries don't actually have any band there, so it depends where you are. Uh, 1.25 meters. I've heard, I know there's an, a re, one or two repeaters here in Montreal on that frequency, but I rarely, rarely hear anything on 222. Uh, 220 megahertz is one of the very, very seldom used bands. I guess that's why the United States uh, FCC took out 2 megahertz of that band, because it kind of noted that it was seldom used. Um, I don't know why the popularity of this band never really picked up, but it is one of those bands that um, is very quiet and um, has, of course, in the first little portion of the band, uh, single sideband stuff, but there's also repeaters, so uh, why not scan? Another thing about this band is that 220 megahertz, not all scanners actually can receive that. I remember the first time I had a receiver that could go there was um, when I got my Pro 43 scanner back way back in the early 90s. And that was the first ever amateur uh, band that I could hear, the first ever scanner I could hear this band on. So. Um, it is seldom available on most of the regular scanners you'll buy, so uh, don't worry if you don't have that frequency range. Um, most radios actually don't have it. Um, now I do have a few scanners that I, a few radios actually that have it. My ICOM um, ICR20, the ICR 8500, uh, two communications receiver. Uh, those are full frequency coverage, so they include 220 to 225 but the only other scanner that I have that actually has this frequency band is my old Pro 43. Um, I'd say I don't hear much more than maybe one signal every year on this band here. I've rarely rarely heard. Um, at some point I remember there was a uh, a group that wanted to make this band more popular and they actually had a uh, net on an FM repeater on that band but uh, I haven't hear, heard that in a long time so probably they don't have enough uh, stations that actually use the band but uh, if you can scan that little range why not go and uh, take a peek um, you'll never know and it it's like every other band, if even there's nothing, uh, try it out from time to time if you can go there. It's uh, surprising what we can hear sometimes. So it's the 1.25 meters amateur radio band, and so uh, this is one of those nice little very quiet bands, but you might be surprised what you might hear. So hope you enjoyed this series on the amateur radio band plans and of course go to the ARRL.org website slash band dash plan to get um, more information. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.